Smash. Is it really starting off on Smash? Oh shit, it is! Was it, who is it gonna be? It's a horse! <laughs> Holy shit, Link is getting wrecked and I love it. Dragon Quest! He had the hairstyle. Yeah, Dragon Quest 11's hero, right? That was loud as fuck. Okay, that's cool. More swordsmen, and it's a dragon crit. The hero? Literally just entitled The Hero. You know what? I'm totally down. We never had a Dragon Quest character, so I'm, I'm okay with it. Now I really gotta play Dragon Quest 11, or Dragon Quest. It's not 11. This motherfucker's from the latest one. I forgot what it was called, though. Or number it was, at least. Wait, did they just retcon it? Oh, we're getting a new hero. Oh, no, no, no. We're gonna get more DLC. Hold on. Wow, these characters. Wow, they look so sick. Oh! Wait, Echo Fighters? <laughs> that's cool! Oh, that's sick! <laughs> and that's so sick! You have the RPG element added towards them. <laughs> That's so dope. Every Dragon Quest hero known to existence. Wow, that's cool. Oh, it's Dragon Quest 11. Oh, okay. It is 11. What the fuck? Okay. If people are mad, fuck them. That is dope. I'm not even a huge Dragon Quest fan, but I at least I could admit that was really sick. Damn, the audio is fucking all over the place. Man, now I gotta really get this shit. I'm getting it for the waifu though, the one with the ponytail. I love how she looks. There she is! Oh, it's a turn-based RPG. Oh! I thought it was action. That's cool. That's cool. People are super tight. Well, they fucking pansies. Yo, fuck them, dog. The fact that the Dragon Quest characters finally got their spotlight, that's dope. Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. In this Nintendo Direct for E3 2019, we'll showcase a variety of games, many of them coming soon. But before we dig into the next game, there is someone I'd like to introduce first. <laughs> what? What are you doing here? <laughs> is it because Bowser is now like the CEO of Nintendo America? Wait, 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 wait a minute. I There's know a it! Bit of a mix -up. <laughs> You're not the right Bowser. Sorry, but I'm the right Bowser for this presentation. Not this way. 
No, no. <laughs> this way. Oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe next time. Yeah, I kind of figured. Are you related? No, but we get that a lot. That's cool. They say this is like well, it's not his first it. showing, Please, but take it away. The first Hi everyone, I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, and I'm thrilled to join you for today's Nintendo Direct. This is our chance to show the world we have games for every type of player on Nintendo Switch. Whether you love action, RPGs, or you're just looking for something new, we've got you covered. Okay, so let's get a look at one of those games by taking a tour of Luigi's Mansion 3. I know it. I told you we're going to get something revolving around with Luigi's Mansion. Hello? Never played any of his games. <laughs> but a lot of there's like a hardcore following. Maybe maybe I'll try it out one day. Luigi's it is coming towards the Switch, ain't it? A gorgeous hotel with Mario, Peach, and the others. Oh, lucky him. Wait, is that his pet? And he died. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3. This hotel is much more than meets the eye, for not long after Luigi arrives, things take a dark turn. We begin our tour by taking in some sights and sounds. You may never leave. You want to leave. <coughs> the guests certainly don't plan to move on. They're ghosts after all. I thought it was a rider, the, rider, the rowdy rough boys. Simply scare them with the straw bulb, then suck them up. Luigi's new Poltergust G00 has the powerful suction capabilities required. Oh, the good suck! New features as well. First, the slam. While trapping a ghost, slam it on the ground to inflict some damage. That's great. The suction shot. Find the plunger to attach it to something, then pull the string, and you can destroy it. <laughs> you just the beat the fuck out of ghosts. Okay, I might, I might have to give this game a try. Sometimes ghosts may feel inclined to gang up on you. In such situations, a burst should do. The powerful air pressure released will blow away ghosts, and it's perfect for when you need a little air. Ah, uh, we simply can't overlook the latest invention from Professor wow, that Ike, design, though. Namely, Gooigi. Gooigi? Luigi and Gooigi to use both their skills. Gooigi can do everything from slipping through metal fences to walking on spikes. Indeed, there are obstacles too great for Luigi to handle on his own. And if you pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend, he makes for a great co-op partner. That's kind of sick. But proceed with caution. Gooigi and water definitely don't mix. Now, please direct your attention to the Scare Scraper. Spooky? Sure. Oh, you get- Oh, wow, four-player co-op! Local or online co -op Okay, I take it back. More than four players. Defeat all ghosts before time runs out. Seek and find our dear misplaced toads. And face any challenges the tower throws at you. Together. Kind of cute. What a place to wake up in. A haunted hotel with floor after floor of oddities. Many traps and mischievous ghosts lurk within. What will befall our missing Mario and friends and his dear brother Luigi? Their fate rests in. Wow, your hands. King Boo looks dope. Luigi's Mansion 3. Available in 2019. No, no exact date, but I'm pretty sure it may come out in October. So that was Luigi's Mansion 3, the latest game in a series that I personally love. And we can look forward to seeing some <laughs> oh, of the sorry. new gameplay elements that await in this strange hotel as we dive deeper into this title on Nintendo Treehouse, live at E3 2019. We'll be streaming content some you've Is never seen before, outside already? Holy right shit. from the show floor. Including Fair warning, gameplay, my stream may die. Mario my power may go out. And on day three, For the love of God, please don't let that happen. will get their hands on some promising indie games that are new to Nintendo Switch. While you watch today's Nintendo Direct, keep an eye out for this icon to learn what other games will appear on Nintendo Treehouse live at E3 
2019. You won't want to miss it. Or this. Have a look. Nice. Ah! I slept too long. Far too long. Netflix? Nani? Sing me your story. What has become of... Unchecked for an age, evil takes root, darkness spreads. It's the first game! Dark, light, brighter than the three suns they sparked a life. Heroes of Thra, strong and brave. Strength it looks like it's running like shit. <laughs> Age of Resistance Tactics. Okay, I guess that was neat. <gasps> we get to see her! Oh, man. Wake up, Link! You fucking idiot! Wow, she looked massively adorable. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh my god, it looks so- it looks cute! <laughs> it's long, so we can- yeah. Damn, audio, do you want to be loud? Do you want to not be loud? Like, fucking design- this is fucking sound design. Yo, Nintendo, hire me. God damn. I haven't played this shit in years, bro. Com company is always welcome. Wait, what? You can make your own dungeons. Giant egg. Oh, wow, September. Nice. Squeenix. No, it's Squaresoft. What are you talking about? <laughs> this game makes me feel warm in the inside. <laughs> We're ready to get another, like... Aww. Action RPG Trials of Mana is getting a global release on Nintendo Switch. Man, she said, Mom and Dad, where you going? Yo, that made me sad. I'm getting this game just for her. Set destiny in motion with the power of mana. of mana I must protect I'm getting it early 2020 interesting wait the original three games of the mana series goes to the switch huh available for the first time outside of Japan where's SMT 1 and 2 <laughs> please Later today on the eShop! Wow! 
This is this is SMT two right here. It's happening. Oh no, this is the Witcher. Oh wow, the rumors were true. Wow, the rumors were true. That's sick. They they compressed the Witcher on the Switch. That's fucking awesome. A promised reunion of beloved students. Let's all agree to meet back at the monastery exactly five years from today. Oh, anime it's a class reunion. You will come, won't you? Sweet memories Years twisted ago, by time's cruel we hand. Fought here as classmates. As big class reunions go, this one's gotta be the worst in history. Oh, oh they grew teams? older! Kill every last one of them! Oh wow, that oh wow, things got these got serious real quick. Still. We have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the strong trampling the weak. So the fell star consumes even the darkness itself. Yet we have the strength to scale the walls between us, to reach out our hands in friendship so we can open our true hearts to one another. That's how we win! My Teacher, both sides of time are revealed to you. What shall you do? So we we talking time travel, time skips? How lovely it would be for this moment to last. Why do Fire Emblem games need to spoil its own story? Wow, July! Wow, this year! Holy July! This next month, Nani! Holy shit! Nintendo Switch, uh, Nintendo Switch is the only gaming console you can play not only on your TV at home, but anywhere you go. In fact, I ain't playing like this, the Witcher low quality. Dude, just imagine Nintendo banging Trish and like uh, Yennefer in low quality. Let's get it. You're gonna go in that unicorn, remember? Or that, that horse, that stuffed horse that they were on. What do, yeah, but. I, I, it's just Japanese marketing pro. Like, for some reason, a lot of Japanese developers love spoiling its fucking story. And it, it's, it's all intentional because they make, like, like, trailers revolving around that shit, too. Like, I always said it, man. Like, when it comes to the Japanese, for some reason, their marketing is like, well, let's spoil something so that we could grasp, like, a bigger audience. It's fucking stupid. So you're telling me they went to a haunted house to play the Switch? Okay. Let's do this. Resident Evil. Well, at least remake yeah, looks good. Try. See what's through there. Oh. Did it just eat him? He's gonna come back. Okay, 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 okay. So this is what I'm gonna do on my next date. Uh, I'm with my uh, my future girlfriend. We're gonna go into a haunted ass mansion, right? And I'm gonna bring my switch, and we're gonna play Resident Evil together. Two more Resident Evil titles come. <gasps> RE5?! Ew, an RE6?! Resident Evil. Whoa, what?! Playing a Resident oh, wow, Evil that's game so sick! Like that might not be my way to play, but... I bet you could find your way to play, don't you think? For now, please take a look. What the hell is this? Fourth of July? If not, is the Empire striking back or what? 
Looks like things are gonna get weird today. Oh, that's Travis! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! As you can see, things got all funky real quick. There's probably some planet-eating type dude waiting for me up ahead. All yoked and powerful and trying to take over the world or something. Wow, did he look so good! Nice! I love how they're not enemies. Like, they're not like human, they're like, they're like freaking prototypes. But don't you worry, a hero descends. What, there are no heroes in this world? Oh, but there totally are. My name is Travis Touchdown. I'm the last hero around, here to save the world. I'm also just a passing assassin. Now let's do this. Start the game. Yes! Yes! Welcome back, Travis. To the Garden of Madness. That didn't sound like her. Cool! It's funny because, like, months ago, when they did an interview for Suda 50 or with, uh, with Suda? They made an intro with Suda51, or not an intro, an interview, and well, he basically spoiled it. He said that <laughs> he said that he's gonna be fighting aliens, and how the uh, the freaking thing in uh, in No More Heroes uh, for the Switch, the 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 one that's like indie games and shit, how that's gonna be in relation to him facing off against the aliens and shit. Uh, so that, that's really, that's really cool, dude. I, I was so weirded out because that didn't look like Travis. It was, it, it had the voice, though. And I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, the Contra is back. That was sick, dude. You saw that chick? She was rubbing those cherries, bro. That felt uncomfortable. Demon X Machina! We're not getting ST5 news, are we? Don't give up! Begin the mission. It's your call, rookie. The battle's already started? If you get in our way, we will eliminate you. It looks cool. I have no interest, but it looks dope. Wow, everything's wow, everything is coming out this year. Holy shit. And now everybody's excited. Nah, this is SMT5, bro. No, it's not. It's not let no, it's not. It's SMT5. This this is the new route. Hands of Dragoon, it has to be. It's, there's no other game that does this right here. Panzer Dragoon! So is it like a new game, or is it a re I'm assuming it's just a remake. This winter. Konnichiwa. Hello. I'm Takahashi from Nintendo. 
Earlier this month, we held a Pokemon Direct for the latest games in the series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. The developers from Game Freak showcased the new Galar region, the location of your new adventure, and some new Pokemon you'll encounter Whoa! there. They already, Nintendo already won. It will be a while until these games launch, so please stay tuned. By the way, in these games, you can use certain functions of the Pokeball Plus accessory, allowing you to take a Pokemon from one of these games out for a stroll through the real world with you. You may not be able to use the device as a game controller, but if you spend some quality time with a favorite Pokemon of yours, then something good might happen. In the Nintendo booth at this year's E3, fans can play Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield for the first time anywhere in the world. Wow, man, when, when can I go to E3? In this gameplay demo, you can challenge one of the gyms in the Gala region, the one and only Water Gym, where the water type gym leader Nessa will be there waiting for you. If you're attending this year's show, I encourage you to experience a battle between Dynamax Pokemon, which is an advanced strategy from this region. Also, Immediately after this Nintendo Direct, stay tuned for live gameplay of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on Nintendo Treehouse Live. Wait, I missed it. What just happened? And now I'd like to shift gears. Please have a look at this. Astral Chain. Yep, it's shouting Astral Chain. I've been waiting for you. As you know, Earth is currently under extra-dimensional attack. Chimeras. Like the ones you've just seen for the first time. At this rate, all of humankind will be pulled into the Chimera's dimension. We're facing down the end of the world. Through blood, sweat, and years of research, we finally made it. The ultimate counter chimeric weapon. By neurologically sinking captured chimeras with human operators, we established Wait, you control could capture them? and made powerful allies. I'm referring, of course, to the legions. I'll give you some parting advice. Your power. It's not the blessing you think it is. When a Legionis and a Legion are perfectly synchronized, it's like they're two parts of one body. No use! The override release isn't going through! That's impossible! And when We're gonna get fan of that pink hair. about to die, the Legion's survival instincts kick in to save it. No way! There's no way! What good could this possibly be? It's a long shot, but it's the only shot we have! It's all up to you, my friend. A blessing from the Legion. Or maybe I should. Wow, look at that monster design. Holy shit. We can't turn back now. I've gotta know the whole truth. He's still alive out there. I know he is. And now we have died. Holy shit, August? Oh my god, everything is just coming out this year for Nintendo. Goddamn! Bayonetta 3. We, we finally getting something. Nope, I take it back. <laughs> Fuck! Alcapone? And if you're looking for salvation, well, you know you ain't gonna find it in the Empire of Look out! Okay. Death he was shooting at nothing. Move out. They deserve something much worse. Ooh, Doc Ock!
Oh, Mordok! Even with this stone at my command, this may not be a battle we can win. The, I feel like we can beat it. Keep fighting. While Miles, saw, he's the movie Miles. There, it's like they're specifically showing off the the movie characters first. I don't know who she is. I'm sorry. Ghost Rider. Oh, oh shit! Electra. Oh, Spitty, Spitty. Was that Nova that I just see? Excuse me! Ex what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, get the expansion pack for <laughs> X-Men and the Fantastic Four? <laughs> what the hell is that? What? So you're gonna cut off you're gonna cut off Marvel's first family? Like that? What? That's some bullshit! This looks cute. Oh, that's Crypto the Necromancer. Yeah, that means Doom is like DLC. I might just have to get this game. Not gonna lie. Gymnastics with Mario? <laughs> Can I do gymnastics with Peach? Please. That's the only thing that, that's gonna sell this game for me. So, what do you think so far? Now for some follow-up information on a game that fans have been waiting for. SMT! Please, take a look. <laughs> just give him my messiahs! Your attention, please. The Nook Inc. getaway package charter flight will soon be arriving at the deserted island. Oh my god. Freaking Animal Crossing. Alright, this looks cute. I'm definitely getting this game. I never played an Animal Crossing to save my life. So, I'm getting this shit. I'm looking forward to it. I want to see what the uh, addiction is all about. <laughs> Why are you addicted to anima Animal Crossing, ma'am, or sir? Well, you see here. <laughs> oh, I'm so fishing. Is it just a life simulator? Like, it's just an adventure and shit? Be so much Route 34 of that fox looking character. This is cute! Oh, the Naruto running! Welcome to Animal Crossing's New Horizons 2020. Wow, they got exact dates! Holy shit, Nintendo! It's your itemized bill, so this includes everything airfare, accommodations, labor tax, and of course your new phone. Interesting. Originally, we announced this title as a 2019 release. However, we need to change its release date to March 20th of 2020. 
To ensure that the game is the best it can be, we must ask you to wait a little longer than we thought. We hope you look forward to the latest installment of Animal Crossing. On Nintendo Treehouse Live, the game's producer, Mr. I swear Nakama, to God, you don't fucking give me my SMT. Togoku, will come on for a live demonstration of some early moments in the game, so please stick around until it starts. By the way, there are many different types of games coming to Nintendo Switch from Nintendo and our partners. So, we've prepared a highlight reel to show you what's in store for 2019 and beyond. Let's have a look. A highlight reel? Spiral! It's not over yet. Oh, Nino Kuni remaster! Oh, that's so sick! I like the music. Doom Eternal? That makes sense because Doom me now. The Sinking City? <gasps> Yo, we getting back to our Cthulhu goodness. Cthulhu Thursday. Oh shit. <laughs> you ready to go into Madness Boys again? I can't wait. I totally forgot about the Sinking City, too. That's the fucked up part. It's not the remaster? No, they need to remaster it. They said there was rumors about it. Why bring out the original? Fuck. Oh, Strangers 3. I'm about to steal this song and use that as my outro on YouTube. We didn't platform with boys. What the hell is that? Hold on, K rule. Wait, what? Oh, banjo. We got two characters. We got banjo and K hey, we got banjo and uh, and uh, Dragon Quest characters. <laughs> K rule. <laughs> Wow, he looked cartoony than he ever did. No SMT, huh? Cool. Okay, he did it. <laughs> oh, it's the witch!
So that's the one thing too, because Banjo is a Microsoft title right now. So the fact that Banjo made it, pretty awesome. Pretty sick. Go. Wow, we got two characters. That's so sick. That obviously wasn't Duck Hunt silhouette, was it? Please stay tuned for more information about DLC in the future. As for Nintendo Switch, we have more games in development beyond what we've shown you today. I'm looking forward to the day we can introduce them to you. Yeah, so how many DLC characters are left, Speaking actually, in Smash? Before we end this direct, I actually have one more thing to show you. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. SMT. SMT for the love of God. Wait, what? Cthulhu! <laughs> it's... What the fuck is this? Metroid? No, no! Zelda got destroyed her! Oh no! No, wait! Holy shit. Zelda has short hair. I am sold. Okay, that was it. Oh, the sequel to Breath of the Wild. What the fuck? You showed this, but not SMT? It can't be over. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's fucking over. Welcome to... <laughs> we gotta wait like five years for SMT.